That's right, Leanne. On this 53rd anniversary of the Sharpeville Massacre, Human Rights Day celebrations not only remember the courageous acts of those who died on this fateful day in 1960, but also aim to reflect on the importance of activism in uplifting South African communities. Now, today, our President Jacob Zuma visits the Mbekweni Township in Paul to promote unity in socio-economic development. And this morning, we're joined by Mr. Bongani Ndlovu, the Executive Director of Core Functions at the Iziko Museums of South Africa, to discuss the history of Human Rights Day as well as the significance of activism in South Africa. Today. Good morning, sir. Great to have you with us. Good morning, and it's a pleasure for me to be here. Are you, are you dealing all right with the, with the dog yeah, situation? I'm, yeah, I'm quite I'm fantastic. Quite happy. Now, I think far too often when it comes to national holidays like these today, we, we miss the point because we don't really know what it's all about or where it all comes from. So just paint, briefly paint the picture for us. Human Rights Day, 21st of March, 1960. What happened on that faithful day? Okay, um, yes, uh, the Sharpeville Massacre. There were a number of events uh, that led to the massacre uh, itself. If uh, we look briefly back, not uh, a century, let's just look, at, look back uh, in 1948, <coughs> sorry, we see the National Party coming to power. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to power, it, it introduces and, and, and legalizes a, a number of, of, of practices which segregated uh, against black people, by black I mean colored Africans and Indians yes. generally. And, and, and not that it was the first time. The previous government have done so, mm -hmm. and they've segregated before. But it introduces policies that we are unjust. And in 1952, we see a defiance campaign uh, led by the, by, by, the, by the ANC then. And 1955, against all these unjust laws. Yes. In 1955, we see the Freedom Charter being adopted. Uh, and then here, people of South Africa were saying, uh, we, uh, the people of South Africa, black and white, uh, South Africa belongs to us. So we need to be recognized, all of us, as citizens of this country, uh, irrespective of color, mm -hmm. irrespective of religion or whatever. Yes. And, uh, and then the following year, uh, you see treason trial, and people were, were, were prosecuted uh, were, were, were for, for, for standing up uh, for their rights. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and all these uh, were measures to say, let us, be, let us have an inclusive system. So hence, uh, it, 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 it is not surprising that in 1960, the African National Congress, for example, starts a process to say, let us uh, a protest, let us, have, let us put our views against uh, the, all these unjust laws. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the Pan-African Congress uh, also took uh, an initiative and, 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 uh, and, and have their own much earlier than yeah. anticipated. Opposing uh, the, the past, uh, the past before. It's against yeah. the, 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 the past laws because then uh, people had to carry passes yes. uh, and, and, they just, and, and which regulated their movement, mm -hmm. uh, freedom of movement, which is something we enjoy today. And uh, earlier, early on the same, on, 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 on March, uh, the heart is referred to the as Sharpeville Day. And on that day, uh, a, a, a people gathered peacefully. Yes. And then, uh, especially in Sharpeville, so they went uh, to the nearest police station to surrender themselves, to say, arrest us. Uh, we don't have these passes. Yeah. Uh, we are prepared to ban them. But all of us uh, are, are tired of carrying these passes anymore. They restrict our movements. Not, it, this was, did not only happen in Sharpeville, here at Langa, uh, uh, just across. Also. So all across South Africa, actually, in, or in different parts of the country, this actually happened, not just uh, in Sharpeville? Yes, in different parts of, of South Africa. But in Sharpeville, uh, uh, for example, what happened then? Uh, people open, uh, police opened fire mm -hmm. to persons who were not having arms, who, were, who, were, who, who opened fire, killing 69 of them, and also injuring uh, 180 uh, uh, persons in the process. The same thing here at, at Langa, also police opened fire to persons who were protesting again, uh, uh, against passes. Yeah. So that's basically... Uh, what happened on the day? So, I mean, you, you fast forward to today where we also have mass action taking place in different parts of the country for, for different kinds of reasons. But yet, on the other side of the scale, you have people kind of living, you know, in apathy where, you know, everything is fine in their lives and there's not really much care. How, how do we reinforce the spirit of communal activism in South Africa, but in a positive light? Obviously, we don't want to have another Marikana on our hands. How do we uh, encourage South Africans to stand up for their rights, for the, the things they believe to be right, to do it correctly? The beautiful thing about the pre-1994 activism is that it uh, gave South, African a sense of, South Africans a sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. That if we disagree or have concerns about a particular matter, let us go to the streets uh, and raise those points. But unfortunately, in the present day South Africa, we have a constitution. So people are allowed to voice their, uh, their, their, their concerns, to voice also what uh, uh, dissatisfied them, mm -hmm. but in a responsible way. So in a way, 
it is good that you have a, a society that is, is interested uh, uh, in what is happening, that is also interested in voicing out their concern. But what uh, needs to be done is to do that in a responsible manner. Mm -hmm. People should not bend down libraries, uh, infrastructure. They should still voice their concern. Mm -hmm. They should also uh, use their freedom to, of, of expression to sort of say we like to express our, our, our points of view, put, it, uh, uh, put uh, points against corruption, yes. for example, against lack of, of service delivery in, in a responsible manner. Mm -hmm. Also, thank you very much for your insights today. I know that you've got a very beautiful uh, exhibition uh, honoring uh, Oar Tambo right now at the Izigo Museums. We'll have all those details for you, of course, on our website, expressoshow.com. But let's all remember that today is not all just about celebrating with parties and briars and all those other good things. It's about thought process, thinking about where we've come from and why we are here today and really honoring those that gave up you know, everything to give us what we have today in South Africa. We'll be back with lots more here on Expresso. Just after these.